Today on Scissor Boy, Brenton from Salon Sessions is going to show us how to create sexy curls in your client's hair, how to use a curling iron properly so you distribute the heat throughout the whole hair shaft, and he's going to show us a whole lot more. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to the Cutting Edge Hair Show on Scissorboy.com. I'm Amy E, and this is Brenton. Brenton Lee. Brenton Lee and his lovely model. Carissa. Carissa, who's also a hairstylist, and she mm -hmm. volunteered. Uh, what are we doing today, Brenton? Um, today, we're doing a style that would never, in my opinion, never um, be out of style. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to give her some nice, sexy waves. We know, like a lot of people. Um, considered like Hollywood waves or you know, Hollywood style. So that's what we're gonna do. My inspiration, let me show you guys. It's not the best picture, but it gives you an idea. We're gonna start by setting her hair first, just getting the set in. And then after we set it, we're gonna comb it out and kind of, you know, put those nice sexy waves in. Great, okay, so time to start curling. Are you ready, Clarissa? Ready. Are you ready for those sexy waves? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> So I already did my first my first curl. Everything on this on her head, everything's gonna be curled the same direction. So no matter what, even if it's you know from side to side, everything's gonna be going this way. Okay. So this side is gonna be going back. Everything's gonna be curled the same direction. And we want we don't want to curl it too high. When I'm curling it, I'm making sure everything is below her eye level. So we don't want you know too much volume, too much going on here. Just everything real sleek and smooth, and then when it gets to eye level, we're gonna start, you know, developing a nice, curly, sexy way. Great. And notice I'm I'm keeping my stem up. That's really important. It kind of just naturally stays up since I put that stem up. If I left the stem down, it would just be hanging. Oh, so Does that it makes sense. It long. Yeah, exactly. Keeping everything real uniform keeping the stem up. Down here in the bottom, I don't want the curls too tight, so I'm using my second iron. This is a two inch curling iron. And this on the bottom, I kind of want it just, you know, real soft and loose. So I'm switching to a bigger iron. But still, my sections are still gonna be vertical, no matter what. And I'm still gonna curl the exact same way. And notice how I'm putting heat throughout the whole section of the hair. I'm not just putting it on the ends, rolling it up, but I'm kind of starting in the mid shaft, curling, giving the whole, the whole hair some heat. So there's my set. Almost finished my last curl here. And then, and then what do we do? And then we're gonna work on this section here. Snip, snip, or is this a boy? We love you. Wow. <laughs> Bye. So now we're going to work on the top of our back section. And same thing, we're using vertical sections. And remember not to, you know, curl too high, keeping it all at eye level. Do you have any advice for young men that are thinking about being hairstylists? Oh, definitely. Um, I actually, you know, talk to a lot of males, but, um, one thing you have to remember is, you know, it's a nice industry, it is dominated by females, but one thing is important, you can never mix, you know, your pleasure with business. Remember that your clients are, you know, who pay your bills, and it's business, so you can't mix that with, you know, trying to take your clients out and stuff like that. <laughs> so don't, but, don't ask them out on the job? Oh, no, definitely not. You don't never want to mix <laughs> that. But, yeah, um, I always... Um, will encourage, you know, males to uh, step into this industry. I think even, you know, some women like guys planting their hair versus a female. You know, I've heard that before, but um, yeah, if you're going to do it, you know, just make sure you're doing it for the right reason. It's more business um, and yeah, you'll love it. I know I love it. A lot of people like to curl hair like this. 
They'll put the, the curling iron right on the ends and just wind it up. But what that's doing is the ends are getting a lot of heat, but then, you know, it's layers of layers of hair that's wrapping around, so then the root more closer to the, um, the scalp isn't getting as much heat. Right, which is a thicker part of the hair, so right. it should be getting yeah. the most So you want to have consistent heat through the whole strand of the hair. Mm. So then, you know, when you're setting the hair, you're going to have more curl on the ends versus, you know, right. next to the scalp. So now let me do that over since we demonstrated <laughs> that. <laughs> so notice I'm putting the, the curling iron in at mid chap first and letting heat get through all the hair. So two things I just went and got, really important to finish in this, in my opinion, is our boar bristle brush to keep everything real smooth and also some shine spray. Shine is your best friend. <laughs> so we're gonna start on this left side where we first start setting. Everything's cooled off on this side now, so you know the set is in there. That's most important, the set. So you can kinda already see once we start brushing it out, that we're already kind of getting, you know, a nice kind of wave going already, mm. where it's going like that. But we're not done, so don't get too happy yet. <laughs> <laughs> so this, that's the key, having the curls going the same direction, everything's gonna, as you can see already, kind of give it a nice little wave. To get our waves, we're gonna work with, you know, what the hair is already naturally doing. But now we're going to really define the waves. So check it out. The hair wants to buckle up, right? And kind of do the, the deeper part of the wave. So we're going to put the iron in. And now you can see it's making a, you know, a bigger wave. You're just touching it. Yeah. Just kind of really making these waves more exaggerated and deep. And then what we're going to do is put the iron in upside down. Fold this over and just click. And what this is doing is actually making, you know, the rivet right here of the, of the next part of the wave. So I'm putting it in upside down and just clicking. But this is important right here, that you're, you're folding this, so it's making that dent, you know, that a wave will have. So you see that? And what we're gonna do is that hair is going this way. You know waves kinda go mm -hmm. in, out, in, out. So that's going that way. We're just gonna clip that away right there. And that's our, you know, kinda like our first dent of our wave. Next, you know, naturally waves kind of get bigger and go smaller. So now I'm going to switch to my smaller iron. And same thing, I'm going to put this in there. But now I'm going to turn it upside down and go the opposite way. To really define it. Yeah, to really define it. But again, I'm kind of folding this hair right here to really get that indention. So classy. Sexy. Yeah. See that? Okay. Then with the ends, we're just gonna give it a nice little curl. So do you spray it? Or not? Um, not yeah, spray it? we can spray now. This is how we're gonna want it. So we're gonna just let that set. Again, we're gonna spray some shine in my brush before I comb it through. Really nice. Just, you know, shaking some, what the hair naturally wants to do. I think it's beautiful. It is beautiful. So, this is my favorite side, so let's zoom in on this one. <laughs> well, we can see, you know, the nice deep wave we have in here. Whoa, look at that. Do you feel glamorous? I do. Right? 
It's real pretty. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is Brenton. <laughs> and his NSW, his nice, sexy, sexy waist. Waist. Back really nice and soft. So this was Brenton at Salon Sessions and this was another episode of the Cutting Edge Hair Show on scissorboy.com. Snip, snip. snip. <laughs>